This video was directed by the Second Spruce Grove Pathfinders to showcase their creativity. Welcome to Second Pathfinders! I'm Addie! I'm Sawyer! I'm Wally! And, and this, this is Olivia! In a world based around technology, do you ever want to get away from it all and socialize with girls your age, learn life skills, and express your creativity? If so, the Second Spruce Grove Pathfinders may be for you! We make crafts, so like we make clay crafts and hat trading crafts and birdhouses. I say that I'm creative in Girl Guides by just making little projects. We do tons of crafts and activities that make my mind grow and it just makes it a better experience. I get to keep the crafts we make. I like all the projects I get to make, like sparkly trefoils, bracelets, uh, earrings. I made worm earrings once. I also really enjoy doing crafts because it's hands-in um, and that's like my favorite. I love having my hands in. I love working with my hands. Sometimes when we go camping, I like to do some stuff that we do when we go camping in Girl Guides. And when I am bored with my siblings, usually I teach them a craft or two. A couple years ago, I learned how to sew, just a basic runner stitch, and yeah, I used it last weekend. Like in school, we have to do crafts and stuff, so that helps. I Hi! So today we're going to be building um, Girl Guide sleeping bag trading hat things. Hat um, so you can use <laughs> two to three pieces of fabric to make the sleeping bag. You'll need some type of string on, and you will need scissors. Okay, so all of ours look to be about this size, but we're gonna cut all of them. So fold your fabric in half, and then you're gonna keep it at that for now and cut it in half. And then you're gonna need the same with your other one or two pieces of fabric. Okay, so this craft, I've made it before. Um, it looks like a little sleeping bag rolled up and tied together. Um, and Girl Guide trading um, items are hat, hat. things. Um, so each usually Girl Guides get a hat that they um, pin these onto. And the point of it is you're supposed to trade with other groups. So like the idea is that other groups will make their own as well. And when you go to camps um, or... When you go to camps or anything, um, you will trade them with other groups. After you have cut your fabrics, um, ours we were able to cut them after it too, but you just need one of each. Um, so at this point, you can roll it up. The next thing you're gonna do, so I want black to be my outside for this one. So I'm gonna start at the beginning here, and I'm just gonna start rolling it up, making sure the pieces of fabric stay even. So here is what one of my rolls look like. And then there's the other side. There's one of Annalie's. So you're gonna take your roll and cut string big enough to wrap all the way around it. And you wanna cut two pieces of that. So I use this type of string for this one. So you wanna put the two there and wrap it around and tie a knot at the back. Cut off the excess string. Then you're gonna take the other side and do the exact same thing. If you want, you can pull this one down if it's not too tight. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the handle. Find the knot of your other one and flip it all the way around. You wanna get to your better side. Next, you wanna pull up on the loop and put your new piece, slightly bigger piece, through like that. Then you wanna do it the same on the other side that holds the sleeping bag up. So it's already kind of looking like a handle. So you wanna grab both handles, pull, so it's even. Then you can choose how much of a handle you want. Okay, so once you've done it to both your sleeping bags, or one, the knot is at the top, so you can pull it down underneath the first one and keep it in the middle of the two, so the knot is down there. Then you can put a safety pin through the loops, hang it on your hat, and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.